My name is Heidi Anderson and I'm from Southeast Florida. Deanna was born perfect baby. Uh, we were sent home with the Billy Blanket uh, when she was three months old. Uh, a cousin who's also a pediatrician visited us and for the first time met Deanna and she urged us to take her back to the hospital. After uh, several days of tests, we were advised that Deanna was suffering from biliary atresia. Biliary atresia is a liver disease that affects infants. Um, roughly one in 15,000 babies are affected. Basically what happens is babies are born uh, where the bile ducts to the liver are either non-existent or blocked. There is this procedure called the Kasai it was actually a very terrifying moment because we didn't know what was going to happen. And then shortly after that, within two weeks from that point, uh, we were advised that Deanna would need to be evaluated for her liver transplant. Deanna was listed New Year's week of 2014, and she was listed among the national transplant list. Um, 120,000 people are waiting, basically. 2,000, actually 3,000 pediatric patients are waiting for their call. February 26th, 2014, uh, we received a call that there was a donor match for Deanna and she was in surgery for eight, eight and a half hours and the nurse called, actually called my phone from the OR and was like, as soon as we connected the liver, the jaundice disappeared. But yeah, powerful. Overall, the disease has taught us to, you know, spread awareness, pay it forward. And thankfully, Deanna is doing so well, and the disease didn't take her life, but there are cases where the disease takes these babies from families. The American Liver Foundation family, they're, um, they're amazing, and I'm honored to be part of the family and part of such an important cause. Biliary atresia is the number one reason why these kids are transplanted. So in addition to BA, you know, the awareness for organ donation, it's so vital. 